I, I had no idea what I was walking into. I'll be very honest with you. You know, like um, I'm, you know, I'm a big, um, I'm a big anime fan. Like, you know, growing up, Ninja Scroll was always one of my favorite films. Uh, Akira, obviously, yeah. you know, I, I, you know, like I, I grew up on anime. That was like my, my bread and butter. And so here I am, you know, after your next has come out and the guest, and I'm finally in a place where, you know, my career's kind of taking off, but it, you know, it's, it, it's still, it, it's not like projects are just being thrown at me. Right. And so one day your um, death note shows up and it's at Warner brothers originally. Um, and it almost got made at Warner brothers, but at the last minute they dumped it and that's when um, Netflix picked it up. Right. But um, I read the script and my brother had always told me, my younger brother, Chris, uh, he had always told me that if I was ever going to adapt something into a movie, I should adapt Death Note. And I wasn't very familiar with Death Note, I'll be honest with you. Um, and But I read the script and I thought, well, this is really fun. This has a lot of potential. And I immediately had sort of an idea of what I would want to do with it. And it was a little different than it was on the page. And I read the manga and I thought, well, you know, there's all these like there's the death note anime series there's the the manga series and then there's the the movies that exist and i thought you know what this has been so well covered you know we need to do something different and you know and that's a fateful idea because it turns out that you know when you're doing a property and it's called the property name people expect the property you know what i mean they want when you call a movie death note and you call your lead character light even though he has a last name in this film that's different they are expecting death note and it better be that and and the death note fans are very serious and you know and and, and okay so this is the first time i've really talked about death note since since it was made and even when it was doing the rounds it was very hard to talk about and you know and we got mixed up in a lot of controversy there was the whole whitewashing thing um which was really just a misunderstanding i think um there was never any attempt to try to not make this you know asian centric or whatever but the fact of the matter was is that because of the original death note movies i thought okay if we're going to do this american remake we need to do something totally different sort of you know it's got the vibe of death note but we're going to kind of do our own thing with a different tone. And obviously the characters are very, very different aside from Ryuk. Um, and uh, and in retrospect, that was the wrong choice, I think for the fan base. And, and but, the, the, but when I knew that things were gonna be difficult was right away, right? Because before things were even far down the road, this was when I think it was still at Warner Brothers, uh, they announced that I was going to direct Death Note. And the immediate reaction from the fan base was, pure furious anger they knew nothing about the film but they were just furious because they just knew that hollywood was gonna fuck this up you know and i'm like you know and they're talking about hollywood and all this stuff i'm like wait i'm not hollywood what, what are you talking about like you know like just like you know like five years ago i was living off of a hundred dollar coupons for you know mcdonald's and you're telling me that i'm hollywood now well okay well um and, and so I was just getting bombarded with all this hate mail and hate mail. And I was like, these are the Death Note fans, you know? And, and then I started thinking about it. I was like, this kind of makes sense. It's like, this is a series where the hero is a guy who writes things down from a distance and kills people and changes the world. And I was like, wait a minute, this is exactly the same as Twitter. Like the people, <laughs> the people who are fans of this are the same people on Twitter who are yelling at me and they're mad. And, and by the way, they got even more mad when they saw the movie. And the reason for that is, is because the movie, I could never take a step into it and make it where the light character who writes names in notebooks and kills people, I could never make him a good guy or even a cool guy. I saw him as a loser and I saw him as a guy that um, had a, um, you know, he, he he was just wrong. You know what I mean? Like you can't just sit down and write things and change the world. That's oh, not he's how a it villain. Is. He's a villain. He totally is. And, and, and I think people identified with him and they probably wanted me to make him more of an obvious villain, but villains don't, you know, come in a cool package all the time. You know, <laughs> he's not a cool guy. He's kind of like a silly dude, you know, and, and, you know, and people always saw Death Note as being like, this is a mastermind, you know, he's this brilliant guy. And I, I was, I kind of took a different route. I was like, let's, let's see what happens if the Death Note ends up with more or less a pretty smart kid, but not like a brilliant kid, you know? Um, 
but but Death Note to me is it, it's a movie that 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 kind of attacks the the Twitter world and it drove them insane and they they drove me off Twitter. I was like, I can't do this, you know. Like when you have, you know, multiple people, uh, you know, a day, you know, when the movie was released, like telling you they hope you die of AIDS. Literally, these are the kind of tweets that you get. Uh-huh. You're just like, what? What is this? Who am I doing this for? You know, I spent two years of my life on this movie, but at the end of the day, I get it. I get it because the movie's kind of trolling, you know, the fans, honestly. And 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 in retrospect, it's like, what was I expecting to happen? Because I didn't make a movie for the fans, um, but ultimately, the fans kind of drove me away before I even had a chance to. And so. Uh, I'm still very proud of the film. I, you know, it was a huge step up for me. It was a huge, ex- a great experience because it allowed me to make a, um, uh, you know, a, a big budget movie sort of as a practice thing because it was going to Netflix. There was no kind of, you couldn't really point to it and say it was a success or a failure. So it just felt like I could experiment and do sort of whatever I wanted. Um, you know, but I do want to reiterate because I'm sure this is going to like get out there and, you know, some of the death note fans are going to be furious at me again, but I just want to say like, I'm not even mad that they're mad at me. Like I actually totally understand because I didn't make the movie that they wanted. And I actually feel bad about that because they deserve to have a really good death note movie. And I hope that somebody does it. And I learned a lot from that experience um, so, you know, obviously they had the last laugh and, um, but, uh, fortunately I set up my next movie Godzilla versus Kong before that came out and yes. uh, that, that press didn't hurt me. So. <laughs>